see we have a process it is a repetitive process where our client send us the new announcement document on regular basis and later on we upload those announcements document to our backend SharePoint library also we have set up a highlighted content web part to show the latest announcement on a SharePoint based page so this is the process as you can see here this is my page where we showcase the latest announcement and the source is the backend library let me show you the backend library also this is our backend library where we save all the announcements and later on highlighted content web part fetch latest announcements from here and render on the page SharePoint page now let's automate this process by using power automate come here click on create now we are going to trigger this automatically so click on automated cloud flow so give it a name okay search for outlook this is the most generic one uh, here we have multiple triggers you can use as per the requirement so currently we are looking for the incoming emails so select it folder for us is the inbox itself which is the default one now provide the required information as per your business need let's say we want the included attachment so select yes subject if you have a generic subject or your client sends with specific subject line you can define that subject line here but in my case that is not fixed because we have a fixed client let me provide the email id of mike he always send us the announcements and later on we upload in our backend document library importance could be anything no i would like to read the entire email so this is all for us rest fields you can define as per your need next step is to iterate all the attachments so search for apply apply to each control click here and the input value for this would be the output of the previous action attachments click here and search for create file action here it is select the site address and your folder name in my case I have a specific folder for announcement select it and the file name file name would be the attached announcement name now let me search for it attachments name and the content would be the attachment itself okay we are good to go now let me save it and test it it is waiting for the incoming email let me go back here and trigger email test and let me include announcements I have created few test announcements here click on browse this computer 
and my folder name here is the events and select both the files click on send let me come back to my mailbox yes we have received the email from Mike here are the two attachments let me go back to my backend library and let me refresh it okay let me go back to my workflow so still it is executing let's wait flow and successfully let me go back to my backend announcement library refresh it and here are the files as you can see here upcoming events in april and the another file now let me check on my announcement page yep announcements are visible on the page also so this is how you can use save attachment action and automate your repetitive process using power automate please comment below if this was useful or please subscribe the channel thank you